Hey team and welcome to the first of many of these short presentations. We're going to be going into some of the mindset stuff that you will come up against if you have any intentions of using a gym whatsoever. My aim is to keep these really short and sharp and we're going to do something different each week. When we get to the end of this one, I'm just going to run you through a brief description of what we're going to cover next week. And again, any feedback is brilliant because it just helps me cover the subjects that you're going to find really useful. Anyway, um, we're going to go through the biggest thing here because I'm sure that you're all going to be able to relate to this. So if you've ever joined a gym in the past, especially as a, a, a mum or a dad where the time you do have, you've got to get absolutely bang on. Um, then actually going to it and using it is probably one of the biggest challenges that you've actually had. So let's get into this. So I want to tell you a little bit of a story. And what I want, to, want you to do is I want you to tell me if you think this sounds familiar. So we go from day minus 10, as in day zero is when we actually join, and day 30 is the point that we normally get to. So tell me if you think this sounds familiar. So my day minus 10, we get this surge of motivation. Now, we think to ourselves, we need to change, we need to do something different, we need to get fit, we need to get health. There's all these three things flying around in our, in our head that, um, that dictate our decision making process. And we get a number of reasons why joining a gym becomes part of that thought process. There's an element of association. So um, you see the fit, healthy people coming out of the gym and you think, if I do this, then I'm going to be like that. You also get an element of guilt. You might have been a member of a gym before, you might have trained before, and you remember a time where actually you were fitter, you were healthier, you felt better, and you were a member of a gym at that point. But we're all going to get that surge of motivation where we go, yeah, do you know what? If I join a gym, this is going to fix the problem that I have right now. Now, once you come to that realization, you go, you join that gym, you get yourself started, and you walk in on day one, and you're motivated to go and actually do something, but you're not 100% sure what to do. Now, we're going to cover these um, on Wednesdays when we go through sort of technique and specifics. And then on Friday, when I actually deliver you programs, um, we're going to actually cover this. So don't worry too much about that right now. But for now, you go in, you're motivated, you, you don't 100% know what to do. So you do something. And you're nine times out of 10 gone and got on a treadmill, gone and used a rower or a stepper or something like that. Done 20 minutes, got a sweat on. Do a little bit of stretching. You're like, do you know what? That was great. You do that for the first few sessions. Um, and then by session number four or five, maybe end of the first week, like you, you're kind of getting a little bit bored of that. You'll have done a run on a treadmill or a little circuit on a rower or something like that. You get to day five or even more so you get to the weekend. Now, at the weekend, you have you feel like you've, you've achieved something. You feel like you've been you've kind of got into the flow of going to the gym so you go and have a glass of wine and a few hors d'oeuvres with a friend and you hang out, you chill out and you wake up on Sunday with a little bit of a hangover. Now, by the time you get to Monday, because things have been a little bit slow, you might have forgotten to do a few things in preparation for work. Your organisation hasn't been quite so high. And then suddenly we're looking at, oh, too much on today. So I'll go to the gym on Tuesday. And then the same thing happens because you're out of that routine. You push it to Wednesday. You push it to Thursday. And by, by the time you know it, you're the, at the end of the second week and your motivation to actually go to the gym has dropped right down. Now, that becomes a bit of a self-fulfilling prophecy. And actually, the, the fact that you haven't necessarily known what to do, you've gone and done something, but it's not sustainable, means that you've then wasted that motivation that you have at the start. So... What I want you to do, that, that takes you up to the end of day 30, at which point you're already looking into kind of like, how do I cancel early? Uh, do I Can I get a refund on my membership or anything like that? And you don't want to get to that stage. What you want to do is be able to go to the gym, join, and actually start understanding why it is you're there. So I want you to hop into my little time machine, and we're going to go back, and we're going to do these things again, but we're going to do them with a very slightly different approach. So my guide to joining a gym and actually going. Now, day minus 10 to day, to day plus 30 is going to turn into day 365, right? We're, we're hoping to push this for a year. You think what, with a bit of guidance what you can achieve in a year. Now, that same story, you're that person, you're Dave or Jill, and you get that surge of motivation. Now, because you've now got the support of this group, 
you're going to be able to ask questions. You're going to be able to have a bit of guidance in terms of how to get started. Yes, working with me one to one is going to help take that to the max. But for now, this is the guidance that you've got. You've got you're going to have a workout plan you can go in and follow. You're going to have somewhere you can bounce ideas off of. You're going to have some, you're going to, especially when we cover next week's subject, you're going to have an understanding of what part of the gym to go to first. So in terms of motivation, this is no longer about association. This is to do with goals. You're going to be able to look at that and go, I used to be a size 10. I'm now a size 16. Do you know what? I'm a mum and I'm super busy. Um, I don't want to be a 16, but I'd be really happy with a 12. A 12 would mean that I could go on holiday with my family. I could wear a swimsuit by the pool. I could read my book and I would know deep down I'm the best version of myself right now. For Dave, it might be I am sick and tired of running around the park and feeling like I'm, my heart is going to explode out of my chest. I just want to be a bit fitter to be able to run around with my kids. That level of motivation helps dictate the success that you get within the gym. So no longer is it about those other things that are completely sort of sideways on that. There's no guilt. It's all about looking forwards and having that motivation behind you and understanding your why before you actually get into the gym. Um, when you get into the gym, you're then going to have a program that you can follow. It may be basic. It may be very, very simple. It may be very short. For example, the sessions I'm going to deliver on Fridays are going to be no longer than 30 minutes each time. They're workouts that you can go in, you can get done, and you can go all on a, all on a tight schedule. So that completely removes the not knowing what to do, especially where you've got somewhere to be able to share those ideas. Then you get to the weekend. You've done, let's say you've done three of those sessions that I'm going to deliver on Fridays. Yes, it will take time to build those up. But you've done three of those sessions. You've been with me for uh, eight to 12 weeks in this group and you've got a, a bank of those workouts that you can use. You know exactly what session you're going to do on um, on Monday. The fact that you've only taken 30 minutes and you've done three varied sessions means that the task is no longer daunting. You've been able to increase the uh, effectiveness of your, prog of, of your workouts because you've been able to bounce an idea off of two to three really knowledgeable coaches that will help you to how to uh, make your workouts better without just lifting extra weight, without just spending extra time um, in the gym doing those workouts. You can make things more effective by making the actual workouts more effective rather than just adding more, which is what most coaches would work with you on. So if you have that glass of wine and a few snacks and you're a little bit behind schedule, it's not a daunting task to get you started on the Monday again. And what happens next? You rinse and you repeat. And week in, week out, because you've got an effective program in place, you notice changes. So when you get to the end of the first month and you're three kilos down, you're buying a different clothes size, you are winning in the park when you play tag with your son or daughter, um, and they're getting sick and tired of the fact that you're just that quick, that gives you a reason to pack your bag the night before. That way, you get to the end of the first month, and instead of going, how do I cancel my membership?, you're going, how do I get that next stage? How, do, what, where do I push? Where do I pull? How do I, how do I get more out of this? And that's where having a group like this to ask questions on is going to be really important. So it's a, very much a case of knowledge is power here. Understand what's coming your way. And when you get started, you know that the end of the first week is going to be a real bottleneck to whether you're going to be successful or not. So get stuck into these kinds of videos. Understand what's coming. And I will absolutely help you to conquer those difficult moments. Now, next week, we're going to start looking at the content within your session. This is maybe more of a, uh, a Wednesday topic, but we're going to keep this one on a Monday. Um, really, really nice and simple. Weights versus cardio. When you walk in, do you turn left or do you turn right? Guys, thanks so much for watching. And I will be with you to talk about technique and gym specifics on Wednesday.